From the Intellfluence headquarters in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, this is the Intellfluence Influencer Spotlight. In each episode, we sit down with an influencer from our network and we discuss their background as well as their unique approach to influencer marketing. Warren James Lee is a calisthenics expert, American Ninja Warrior, founder of Prove It Training, and an influencer who has worked with brands such as Nike, Under Armour, and ASRV. Featuring over 250,000 loyal followers on Instagram, Warren regularly posts workout videos, and you can check out his calisthenics ebook on proveittraining.com. So can you tell us a little bit about how uh, Prove It Training came to be and uh, a little bit about the ebook that you offer? So the ebook was basically I've been doing calisthenics for about nine years and like throughout the nine years I get all these questions blah 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 and instead of like going through and answering all of them I just you know like it took me about four years ago I'm like how do I like create something that's gonna kind of satisfy everything so um, the ebook is essentially nine core exercises that uh, are essential for the sport. And these nine exercises, I basically teach you beginning, uh, the very beginning exercises all the way to advanced. So uh, at any level, you could jump in. So that, I thought that was something that could, uh, you know, be great for, for people that are trying to start in the sport. That's awesome. And so what, what was your background? You said you've been doing calisthenics for about nine years. Yeah, my background, uh, basically, I, I played basketball at maybe at the age of four, three, four. And that was the only sport I ever played. So um, until then, uh, that was basketball was the only thing. And like right after high school is when I first found uh, like s- street workout, calisthenics, that type of uh, exercises. So yeah, so that's it. All right, and you have a very large following on social media. Can you describe some of the strategies you have employed to grow your following? Yeah, so I remember I think I started in 2013 and like social media I didn't really know like I just kind of did it because my friends did it and everyone else did it but then I didn't really until I had a few friends of mine that were starting to get paid and I was like what like that was like I didn't I was like you know like I, I mean we do the same workouts blah 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 but then they're getting paid so I kind of there was like a few um, of my friends that I kind of like sat down and like just studied what they were doing and from there, I noticed like their content was really pure, really clean, and they weren't just posting just a post. So I remember I was at like, I think 50, like cruising around 50. And then like I made a, a commitment and I was like writing down, okay, this is what I got to do on these. This is how I got to do my videos, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, I did notice a big change from there. I, I love it. Is it just yourself or do you have a couple other people working on your social with you? Because it's, it's, no, it's just, great. It's just me. I, I actually shoot all the videos and photos. I shoot myself. Uh, I don't have a photographer. I have a camera and it has a remote and it just it shoots um, at a certain time. It's a timer. So, yeah, I'll set the time and it'll just go burst. You can fool me. Your, your page is very polished. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was, that was the goal. To keep it really clean and uh, like really presentable. And you're also a very reputable fitness influencer. So what type of products resonate the most with your devoted audience? Um, products. Uh, I remember one of them for my sport, uh, wrist wraps was a big one because um, that was wrist wraps were a big one. Um, there is a like foam, like any type of recovery that seems to do really well because like, recovery doesn't just work with athletes. You could be anybody, and you know, recovery tool it, it helps with everybody. So I think those are the ones that because um, I mean, there's like so many supplement brands out there, and then like you, no one really knows which. Like basically, they're all very similar, if not the like, same. So you know, at least with other um, like recovery products and I would say um, uh, apparel is like the ones that stand out to me. Okay, okay, and I know when I search trainers, um, I, a common article that I see for a lot of trainers, and so I guess people are really fascinated by this, but it's when the article offers a glimpse into the daily life of the trainer 
because I think people are like, they see you, they see the end goal. It's like, well, how do I get there? What, what is he doing on a daily basis? So, so how do you balance your training load with your influencer duties while still finding time to kind of relax and unwind and, and <laughs> yeah, be social? <laughs> All right, so my schedule, like I don't work a regular job. So I'm very, I'm a lot more flexible, but I still like to have a schedule because I like being at the gym at a certain, um, like certain time of the day. So the hardest part, like probably the toughest, uh, the gym is probably the toughest uh, task of the day. So I like to knock that out in the early, in the, in the morning or early, early noon. Cause that's, um, cause for me, I have the most energy in the morning and that's where I get like most of my strength. So that's when I do it. And then afterwards, uh, that's when I work on social media where I'll go film, uh, film, edit, or create more content. And you know, evenings I'm pretty much done. So it's, 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 it's in LA, it's a lot of driving. That's probably the, the hardest thing. So yeah, uh, that's how I balance. And then sometimes at night I'll train again, uh, more like the fun stuff, like the calisthenic work and stuff like that, or basketball. Uh, that's another passion of mine. So nice. I was going to say, I, uh, the hard part going to the gym resonates with me. It's gym or sleep. Yeah. <laughs> You know what helps waking up? I I mean, I sleep with the blinds, not fully open, but like almost. So like I'll wake up before my alarm. And like for some reason that it helps me more to get up because when I'm awake, like when that's like the brightness of the sun will, I don't know where you guys stay. Maybe you guys don't have sun there. <laughs> Scott's still Arizona. So we have a little bit of sun. Yeah, okay. yeah, I don't know where you guys are. Like My family's from Seattle. I'm like, there's never sun. And I always sleep in. It's just like, it's so hard to wake up there. I used to live in Seattle. I, I determined I was either going to have to buy a mood lamp, like, and have it around me all the time or move. Yeah. I mean, I had some of the best sleep out there, but it's just like, it's just, besides that, it's just so lazy. It's like, right, so it's like, called hibernation. <laughs> <laughs> For like nine months, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nine months of gray and wet. Beautiful yeah, city, yeah. though. All right. And what has been your favorite brand partnership to date? Um, yeah, there's, I'll name three, and they all probably compete with each other. Um, Nike is one of them, probably the biggest one uh, I've gone to work with. Uh, I like Under Armour, Under Armour, because I've actually gone to their headquarters um, in Baltimore, and I got to, like, actually see the people that work on the, and then uh, it was a great experience of, like, where they, where they started and where they are now. Um, and the last one is uh, this clothing company I always wear in like all my videos. It's called uh, ASRV. It's, um, it's a fitness and lifestyle uh, activewear, and I absolutely love all this stuff. You know, you'll basically see me wear that in every single post, almost. So that's like their brand. So I would say those are the three. Very nice, very nice. And then the last question of the day, so you can get back to the gym. What are some of your goals for Prove It Fitness for the remainder of this year and maybe into the next? Uh, end of this year, I do want to create another program, uh, more like an in-depth program for, uh, I don't know exactly what exercises yet. Um, that's one of them. I do love working with brands. I love working with brands because it like forces you to stay creative um, and you know hopefully uh, try to impress the brand. Um, and another one is I do want to take on uh, photography more seriously, uh, work with others. Cause right now I just work with myself. So hopefully maybe start an, uh, a different brand with just that. Want to join IntelliFluence as an influencer for free? It's easy. Visit IntelliFluence.com, click on the influencers link, and then click on the join for free button to sign up. Once you have registered, you will get immediate access to our influencer marketplace where you can browse relevant offers from brands and apply on the spot. You'll also be eligible to receive attractive product and service pitches from brands. There's absolutely no cost to join as an influencer, so we hope you take advantage of our service. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and well, you know the drill. Until our next episode, keep being awesome.